When you visit St. Helena National Park with us, you not only travel on the Cat of Nine Tales, you travel back in time 100 years ago to when the island was a maximum security prison for men. Back then, St. Helena was a model prison, promoting rehabilitation through the teaching of trades. The superintendent and warders made sure the prison ran at a profit. Most prisoners did hard labour in the fields or workshops. And there you are into the day. Um, report back here at noon. But some lucky prisoners were promoted to trustees. They worked mostly as domestic servants for the prison staff. Whatever forced labour they did, all prisoners ate and slept in the jail, or stockade, as it was called. St. Helena was a silent prison. The only time men were allowed to talk was in their cells before lights out and in the exercise yards at mealtimes. The yards were where men could use their indulgences of tea, sugar, salt, soap and tobacco. These staples formed the reward system which kept men in line. Any infringement of regulations resulted in a loss of these small pleasures and worse. Conditions were very basic. Prisoners were locked in cells for 10 to 12 hours each night. Whether a single cell or a 12-man cell, all prisoners slept in hammocks. Throughout the night, warders patrolled the corridors, preventing escape and ensuring no rules were transgressed. The morning routine began with the emptying of the night buckets. The unfortunate men allotted to exercise yard C had to eat next to the open cesspit. Conditions such as these were not conducive to health, and illness often led to death. A prisoner who died on the island was usually transported back to the mainland. But for those who had no family, or whose family were simply too poor, burial took place on the island. Prisoners were buried with all due respect. Prisoners dug the graves, made the coffins and attended the funerals. The Christian service was conducted by a priest or a pastor, whatever the religion or belief the dead man held. Only administration numbers mark each cross. A man buried on St. Helena remains a prisoner all eternity. But the majority of prisoners survived their time on St. Helena. Remember, straight and narrow from now on. Come on, son. You don't want to stay in here any longer, do you? Back to work here. They would return to Brisbane town to begin their lives of freedom. Older, perhaps a little wiser, but always glad to be free at last.